Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday. It's gonna be called Storage Box Day. Most of the items are wood. And we'll get started with this here. This is a, a box that used to hold a Holy Bible in it. Um, I used to keep religious uh, items in here, but I have since graduated to something bigger. Uh, it's a really nice box. If you don't want it to say the Holy Bible, this can be taken off. You can paint this shabby chic white or that, that really cool patina greeny blue color, paint it black, make it into a spooky Halloween book box, store your rusty bits, whatever you want to do with it. Don't forget, you can always put feet on these. Uh, Timmy makes some cool heat, um, bleh, cool feet. And you can also get generic ones at any of the hobby stores or use buttons or bolts, whatever fits your fancy. So this measures 13 by 10. And then when you open it, okay, that's something else. We'll get to that. The inside depth from here to here is two inches. This actually used to hold the Bible in it. Um, it's a really great box for storage of your things. So, and it still has the clasp. It's not broken. This was Union made, it says, in the USA. Fun box. I'm asking $10. This is letter K. Letter J is a smaller version of the Holy Bible box with a great clasp. This one does have a Bible in it. Um, it's from 1976. It has crossing the bar in loving memory, strength and guidance, births, marriages. Let's see what else it has. Membership record, deaths. It's a Bible. It's the order of the mass. And that's all in here. So I'm selling it with this. I know a lot of you do prayer journals, things like that. You can turn this into it. This is letter J. I'm asking $10, and it measures nine and a half by six and a half, and the depth is one and a quarter. So that is J. K is a really fun, looks like half of a globe, right? It looks like a, a traveling um, suitcase. It's in all good condition. It might be a little dusty because it was on the shelf. This I used to use for things that I did uh, when I would make like travel journals um, and those kind of things. I don't need it anymore, but this is just a great thing to sit on the shelf. You can make a very pretty display with greenery if you want. Again, store your bits, your linens, any of these boxes will do that. This measures, I'm sorry, 12 by eight by three and three quarters, and I'm asking $10. And there's the clasp on that. So these three boxes, K, J, and I, are 10. Then we're gonna get to some other storage boxes. This is a fun box, it's a studio supply box. It's a really nice heavy duty cardboard. It has a magnet. There's the inside, and she measures seven by nine and three quarters by three and a half. That's your box, and H is five dollars. Next, we have this really nice cigar box. It actually has the Paris logo on it. This is from the um, Paris in Vegas. Nice clasp. Also five dollars, six and a quarter by nine by two. So that is F. I'm gonna list um, the letters with the prices in the description box. Let's see what else we have. We're gonna move these aside. This is a really great box. This came from Neiman Marcus. It's a premium cigar sampler. It's a nice flat box. Again, paint these collage on them, put feet on them. This would be nice to store uh, vintage hankies. This is $5. She's 
she measures eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters, one each deep, five dollars. Then we have anybody doing like a pirate thing, maybe for Halloween or a little boy or what have you. Here's the clasp. It's just missing the little ring, but other than that, it's all here. This is five dollars. This is letter D. Oopsie. And D measures seven and a quarter by four by three and a half. Then I have, this is a great little box. It looks like alligator. Uh, I don't, it's not, it's leather. It's G, oops, went out of order there. But G is also five dollars, seven and a half by four by one and three quarters. Really pretty box and that's G. And then I have what's called the last but not least. This is a vintage um, pencil case. It looks like it had a duck on it. Um, you could put dominoes in here, pencils. It's $3 and it's nine by three by one. This is A. Then I have cigar box B, which is $3. Then I have, last but not least, a deeper box. This is the bearing letter C, and C is $3. So, if you're interested in any of the boxes, I will list them by letter, again, in the description box. So, A, B, and C are $3. D, E, F, G, and H are five. And then we have I, J, and K are the bigger boxes, and those are 10. So please like, please comment, please share. Don't forget, hit the notification bell. I will be on again with some other sale items. And again, all of these can be used for storage, for decor, think Halloween, Christmas, shabby chic industrial steampunk anything you want have fun hope to hear from you bye now